Right then, let's get started. We're back in layout, and the first thing we need to do is to create a new layer for the annotation. So if we select the plus icon in the layer tray, and let's call that new layer annotation. Also, it's a good idea to lock the viewports layer using the little padlock icon here. That way we avoid moving any of the stuff around inadvertently. Now, it should be fairly obvious that you can add text to your drawings using this text icon here. So if we type bedroom one, for example, and you can also add text with an arrow or a leader like this. You'll notice here that the default is to actually pick up the label for that component in the SketchUp model. This is really clever, but for this, I think we just want to type in our own text. So we'll just type double glazed sliding, sliding doors as per window schedule. And then we can easily manipulate that however we like. Pursuit. Okay. This is also obviously completely customizable. If we go over to this font icon, we can change the font that we want to use and we can change the size as you will with any other of these kind of programs. Okay, the dimension tool up here is also very useful. You'll notice that we can have the same inferencing controls that we do in SketchUp and the dimension tool automatically finds the points on your model in which to attach the dimension. Make sure that you have object snap on if you want that to happen. You see, without that, we don't get the inferencing. So we turn this on and then we can automatically find the points on the model to set our dimensions. If we select this and go to the dimension style panel over here, you'll see we can change the types of dimension. We can also set the units and the precision. You'll also notice that it's got an auto scale function. And what that does, because this is a clever program, it detects the scale of the drawing and adjusts the scale of dimension accordingly. So even though this is set to auto scale, it knows the drawing is at one to 50. So it knows that that is 690 millimeters. Another good tip if you're doing running dimensions across a building or site is to simply draw the first dimension like this, and then double click the next inference point. So let's say this doorway and it creates subsequent dimensions that line up. We double click on this one and we can double click on this one and you'll see how quick and easy it is to add dimensions to your drawings.